Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this time we are getting it all in Ever Forward, a puzzle adventure game developed by Panthea Games, published by PM Studios and is available for usually £12.49 slash $14.99 in the US. So this is a neat little puzzle game and we play as Maya, a girl who seemingly is in the plane between heaven and hell, between imagination and reality, and has to conquer puzzles in order to get over and confront her fears. It's a beautiful yet scary world, but a great game nonetheless. Now achievements wise, you basically get one for completing every, well it's a puzzle slash level as you'll see. And we need to collect just 5 leaves throughout the game but all are very easily located and of course I will let you know. Now there's also an achievement for not skipping the credits at the end of the game, so if you miss any leaves or accidentally skip the credits, you'll need to play the whole game again, so that is my fair warning there. Otherwise, it's a nice game that can take maybe between an hour to an hour and a half, maybe even less than an hour, depending on how quick you get past these puzzles. So, with that being said then, let us begin. Now, any cutscenes we can skip with the A button slash cross button if you're playing on PlayStation. Um, we're going to interact with a, a, a lot of cubes in the game we need to interact with and we do that by pressing the X button slash square on PlayStation and you can press A to jump, um, yeah, a couple of times, yeah, we'll, we'll be jumping quite a bit through the game actually, I, I forgot about that then, but we're moving forward anyway and we're going to get another cutscene that once again, as you can see, we can just skip, that's a great looking tree, delicious, it just looks like a goddamn tree. So anyway, we're going to come into the first puzzle now, and obviously these first two puzzles sort of act like a tutorial. There is only one sort of enemy in the world, and the best thing about this game, if you hold the right bumper slash R1 button, you can save at any point during the game, which comes in mega handy. So I advise to be saving quite a bit, especially towards the later levels. So we were just on that sort of linear path then. And this is the enemy that we need to worry about. So obviously, just do not go into the blue cone. If you go into the blue cone, you're going to get zapped in the butt. And you have to start from wherever your last save point was. Um, or if you've just started the level. These levels are quite short, so do not panic about that. So obviously, what we need to do here is wait for him to go to the left. Carry on running and then go to the right. Press the X button here to pick up the cube. And wait for him to go back to the left. There he goes. So now we can just make a break for it. Um, press the X button to place it on this blue button. And then what we need to do is wait for the platform to go all the way to the right. Pick up the um, box again. Pick up the cube and then make a break for it. And this is what ends that level. So we'll be getting um, a lot of sort of uh, levels like this. Where that, like I said, that is the only enemy. If we're close to the enemy... Again, skip the cutscene here. If we're close to any enemies, Maya will slow down automatically, so don't panic your nutballs off about that. And we basically get the first achievement as well for completing that level. So we're just going to keep making a break for it up here. Um, the, the game is quite simplistic in terms of mechanics and controls, so that is all good. Head to the left in towards the red light. Bloop. And the cube goes in. Now, this is basically the start of the level. But like I said, every time you make a save, just head to the right, pick up the cube. Every time you make a save, you're going to get like a little square on the ground. So if you end up dying for whatever reason, you will just go back to where that square was. Uh, as you'll be able to see. So what I do now is wait, press the right trigger. Uh, I don't know what the hell i just done. I just think I uh, reloaded it. So I saved it and reloaded it there just to show you. But all you do is press the right trigger, make sure to put it on the box, and then we can now start moving away. So as you can see, if alerted, a roundy boat will uh, go red and start taking a look around. But he'll only be looking where the noise came from. So, he, so again, like stupid AI, he doesn't go across everywhere. So go ahead, pick up the cube, go onto the platform, and that ends the second level. And um, we're washing dishes. That's oh, that's always fun, right? Doing household crap. Wrong! It's boring. But uh, I can't afford a cleaner. Anyway, as we get into the third puzzle, we're just going to go straight. Press the B button to call the CPQ, or CUPQ for short. To the, uh, nah, it's not the cup cube. But you can press right trigger to fly up, left trigger to fly down, or vice versa. It did just come up on screen. And the to get down, all you got to do is fly down onto the platform, which for some reason I forgot about at this point. I will get there eventually. 
And time to stop looking like a dongleberry. There we go. I'm good. Okay, then. So, pick up the cube. Pick up the pube. Philip Schofield. He's having a hell of a time with the cube. And a man's pube, apparently. And then what we're going to do is throw the cube just past the roundy bout on the right. Which means we can now move ahead as he uh, goes to investigate the noise. So, you go to the right. And sort of stick with the sort of... Um, corner as much as you can until he well, almost got caught out there until he goes back there which means we can now pick up the cube and just run towards the red light to finish arms level reno come on maya faster we got to go faster you know man and there we go well at least the girl can count see there's there's always positives to this stuff so now we are basically on the outside of the world as we unlock our third achievement. And we're going to be getting our first leaf. Now, they're not leaves per se. What we've got to do is actions in the world. So, we need to step on a couple of the crabs, basically. So, have a look at these crabs. I think you've got to step on maybe two or three. Oh, just two, yeah. So, step on a couple of crabs. And then, what you'll see there was just in the bottom right-hand corner, a little symbol. That basically means that you have collected the leaf. And, of course, you would have known anyway because you would have got the achievement. So, that's the first one done. Now, we can just head up this big, massive tree trunk. Now, that is... Oh, my God. Got some green on your trunk there, mate. You want to go to the doctors if you've got green on your trunk. Jesus. So, we, we are heading through to the next puzzle into the next darkened area. Oh, my gosh. Especially if you've got red on your, tr uh, your dangle trunk, then you need to go to the hospital, pal. So, into the next one, press the B button to get our cup cube, CP cube, CB cube, and head up again. Here we are, towards the red light. I'm actually not wearing any shoes, that must hurt a little bit. Anyway, make sure to jump over here. Now, what I'm doing is, I'm just going to show you this bit. So, if you do end up dying, you always start at where you've basically started the level, unless you've saved it a little bit um, further into said level. So, way behind this pillar... Just for a mo, until he starts pissing earth. Come here, piss earth. Okay, there we go. Step on the yellow button very carefully. Now, as soon as it gets, as soon as this pillar gets to the very top, make a break for it and try and hide behind the pillars as best you can. So again, sometimes it did catch me out twice there, to be honest. But when you're at at this point, pick up the cube. Again, make sure to stay behind the pillar and just give the cube a good throw to the left. And pick, make sure to pick up another cube. And make, 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 make a break for it. Come on, Maya, run. Not walk, you silly fool. Run. Otherwise, you get zapped in the butt. And there we go. That's this level complete anyway. Well, I've never been zapped in the butt, but I assume it uh, pinches a bit. Unless that's what weird people are really into. Eh, who knows? Anyway, let's get our cup cue. Uh, by pressing the B button, and then we can fly over to the next section. So, again, it because the level's quite short, you, you never, if, if you do die, you're never too far from where you were, which is good, especially if you keep pressing the right bumper to save every now and again. Um, definitely worth doing. So, we're going to stand behind the pillar for now, and we're just going to wait. Press the yellow button again, and he's going to take a look over at the wall. As soon as he does that, we're going to start now crawling to the left. I mean, she's only a small girl. She probably can't, can't hear us if we run. Well, apparently we can. So, head over to the right. Because now we should be able to pick up the Cuban Puban with no hassle. And there we goes then. Pop it over to the red light. And that is this level complete. Arini and Arino on a Bino. Ligmachinos. Mom, I finished it. No, you didn't. Don't lie to me. Okay, you probably did. I'm, I'm sorry, that's not how parenting works. Right? Red. Anyway, we're going to head to the right. And we are, I believe we're going to be getting, yes, our second and third leaf. Now, the what you have to do, there should be a nut right here in the middle of the path. So make sure to pick that up. Now, there is a, a squirrel located in one of these bushes. You can tell when you've come to a squirrel because it's got a big bushy tail sticking out of it. A um, couple of balls there, uh, but it can, it's randomized. It can be in any one of these bushes or the ones the opposite side right here. So uh, take a look. For me, the squirrel was at the top of these bushes. 
There we go. So we should have got the second leaf there for picking up the nut anyway. And then we get the third leaf. Uh, sorry, no, the second leaf there for um, interacting with the squirrel. What you need to do, don't run into the bush because he'll run away. What you need to do is just pick up the nut, throw it sort of quite close to him. He's going to pick that one up. And there we go. Delishimundo. So picking up the nut, finding the squirrel, and then um, feeding the squirrel the nut -a -a ball. Um, I just... I just like to pet him because squirrels are so cute apart from the rabid ones where they get in your throat and go you know all that jazz so just up a bit anyway is the next puzzle so let us do this thing into the red lights we go and let's do puzzle number whatever the hell this is I forget already so pick up the Kjalben Hauben the little cube from directly in front of us and then what we're going to do now is throw it to the right of him sort of just where he is now. Make sure to pick up another one quickly. And then throw one to the left of him against the wall right there. And then we can now walk on by. Uh, make sure to pick up another cube as well. Because he's going to keep looking. But just keep on keep on going. Keep on staying to the sort of right hand side as much as you can. And we should just be able to get away with it. Press the A button there and Maya will automatically get up. And job done. So, again, especially in later levels, uh, there's going to be quite a few sort of timed, um, sort of time sections and ones that we've got to do quite quickly as well. But again, as long as you are just pressing that right bumper slash R1 button to save, um, when you're in sort of safe spots, then you shouldn't have any problems whatsoever. Um, that's what I've done anyway. Always, always better to be safe than sorry, get into an end of a puzzle and have to redo it. So, pick up a cube anyway, and let's head doin' doin'. And then what we can do is place it on this blue button here. Again, pressing the X button. Now what we can do, pick it up, and then quickly put it back down. And then pick it back up again. Throw it against the wall to the left of him. And that should make it good. Now what you should see is a cube right in front of us as well. On the right hand side, so presumably done that quick enough. You should see the cube, and that'll be the end of this level. So... Like I said, if it ever comes to it and for whatever reason you get caught in certain spots, like I said, the levels are very, very short anyway, so just keep saving and carry on. Oh my gosh, you're so smart. Smarter than me. I am... Well, let's just say I'm dull. <laughs> but I'm hilariously dull. Red? <laughs> Wrong. Red. Anyway, let's head down. And what we're going to do now is actually get the uh, final two leaves. Or do the final two actions for the leaves. So just keep on taking a nice sprint. Head up to the right into this little... Uh, I want to say that's orange, right? Right. And I just lied to you. Sorry, we're doing the next puzzle. We're not getting the second, uh, the fourth and fifth leaf yet. I'm sorry, please forgive me. But let's press the B button to get cup Q anyway. The uh, Colonel's Pubic Quail, let's call it. And here we go then. So... A couple of things we've got to do here. If you jump, you will alert the roundy bot to your location. So do not jump. But pick up the cube and put it on this blue button. And then just uh, walk to the other side, picking up the cube. Put it on this white part right here. Exactly what I didn't do. Right there. And now we can head to the left. Now we have to jump over this bit. Make sure to jump over there because you'll die. You'll die a horrible death. Just save the game as well there, just in case, because you never know. Pick up the cube again, and now we should be okay to walk just to the left. Keep sticking to the left side of the wall as much as you can, and head to the red beam of lightness. No. Why not? You're too young to go out there. It's dangerous. But Maya, you're too young to be the next Pokemon Master. God damn it! Even though Ash Ketchup was only 10 years old. So, you know what, Maya? You you go for it, son. Let, let's do it. After we do this, we are going to be the next Pokemon Masters. God damn it. Anyway, heading forward. Just keep going past the building. Basically, what we're going to do is just head all the way up, as you can see, to the next puzzle as we begin our Pokemon Adventure preparations. You're going to be the very best. The new wind in the wind. Mim, 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 mim. Did I, did I just sing that out loud? Well, screw it, it's awesome. So, here we are then, next to the uh, 
into the next level. We're going to call, call our uh, Colonel, whatever I said, friend, the CPQ. I can't even remember what the hell it's called now. And here we go then, on to the next level. So, as you can see, the world is getting a little bit darker. Excuse me. I'm uh, <laughs> a little gassed up there. So we're going to push the, uh, put the cube on the blue button, pick it up when we get to this platform. There we go, and now we can just sneak our way on. Oh, well, jump our way on, whatever. Press, uh, put the cube on this blue button again by uh, pressing the X button to interact with it after these Orby bot things have stopped. There we go, so as soon as they go blue, then you can put it on, because obviously you'll get caught. So it's okay for now, but what we need to do is quickly pick up the cube, jump off, and then stay here. Very important to stay here, because tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be electrocuted in the ass. Doom to doom, and stars in their eyes, or am I just really old? Okay, I'm just really old then. So when they've gone blue, we're going to head forward into this teleporting device machine. Uh, just after we put the cube down. So put the cube down, head into the teleport device, press the X button. I, yeah, I, I think I've got a bit of lag in my own voice there. Uh, pick up this next cube, and then what we can do is throw it onto the blue button. Make sure that it gets thrown onto the blue button. There we go. And again, make a save if you so choose, just in case, because you may end up falling down these platforms, and that's a pain in the ass. As we've seen. So heading on, boop. And now we can pick up this cube that we just dropped earlier. And basically just head back the way you came for the for the time being. Jump up to the right here. And as you can see, just in the distance is the next teleportation device. So jumping on. So what we're gonna do again, I just made another save there, just in case you want to. Throw the cube on. Now, obviously, what that's going to do is get the Orbibot thing looking, but we're all good. So, into the teleportation device, go to the left, come up, and we should be good again. I just keep making saves just um, randomly, but wait until the Orbibot goes blue, or the roundabout goes blue, whatever the flubbing hell it's called. Pick up the cube, and head back the way you came again. Orbibot, that's a completely different game altogether. So, now we're good for this bit. We can, um, what we're going to do is... Uh, just wait for the platform, actually. Sorry, we're not going to put the cube down. We're just going to wait for the platform. Jump on. Make sure not to fall off. I fell off twice, annoyingly, stupidly. Which is why you see these little cuts and edits. Um, go up, and that is the end of the level. So, again, they're easy enough. But this game I'm really enjoying because it's not just as simple as put a cube, here, put a cube there and you get the thousand in five minutes. You've... You know, if you did without a guide, you'd probably have to think about it, and that is I'd like puzzle games like that. Anyway, one in the outside world again, we're just gonna head forward. Again, I think our mom is getting up our Ash Ketchum hat as we speak. So, Pikachu, I'm gonna electrocute you, boy. You electrocute my ass, I'm gonna electrocute your ass, man. Oh wait, that the did that got weird. Anyway, we're just gonna head up. And uh, we're going into the next puzzle. So after this next puzzle is actually when we're going to get the two remaining leaves and get the achievement for collecting all the five leaves. Uh, but we can't go in here yet. We've got the puzzle to do first. So press the B button to get your seeping Cuban Puban out. There we go. Heading over to the right side. There it is. Okay. Pick up the Kyaub. Mr. Piaub. And you should be able to jump across. I mean, that's pretty epic strength. Because these cubes don't look like they weigh a second. Um, too much, even. So, pushing the one cube on the blue button. Grabbing the next cube from the right-hand side. Again, the little squares are genuinely me just uh, saving the game, in case you're still wondering. Uh, what we're going to do, grab this cube and we're going to throw it the opposite side of the old um, roundy bot. And head towards the transportation device. And press the X button when you're inside. Boop. Happy days. Jump over to the other side again. And then what we're going to do is pick up the cube again now. And then this time we're going to throw it through the red. We're just basically going to kill it, more or less. So, kill the cube, you cubist. And now, in the transportation vice, we should be good. Because, obviously, the roundy bot is looking at where we just threw the thing. Picking up the cube, going into the red light. Job is a good one. 
Right, before moving on, make sure that you interact with the swing. You're going to get an achievement in just a second for interacting with that, um, for finishing the level, but make sure to interact with the swing. And that is what you'll get the achievement for, plus that'll be your fourth leaf. Right, what we're going to do now is basically head down and sort of to the right, um, because we are going to interact with a boat. And you can just see it, there's the water, so just interact with the boat. As soon as the achievement unlocks, then we can uh, get off on dry land and go to the next puzzle. So now you should have unlocked that achievement just when I did. If not, I'm pretty sure you might be able to head down um, and grab the ones that you didn't get earlier. So remember, it was uh, for playing on the crabs of the beach. By the way, the next puzzle is just up from where we were on the boat. So remember, it's the uh, first crab on the beach. The second was picking up the nut and feeding it to the squirrel. Uh, second and third and then fourth and fifth was playing on the swing and just going on the row 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 your boat gently down the stream If you see your mother there, don't forget to kick her in the face and scream. I'm <laughs> just joking. Not, not, not your mother Ah, oh, Mothers are awesome except for the drag addled ones who abused you and stuff. That's nah nah now nah, they stink So here is quite the uh, quite a tricky one. So head to the second teleporter Jump and then quickly press the X button Jump again and quickly press the X button again Now head back and then again, pre jump and then quickly press the X button. And what you can do now is pick up the cube and go to the red one. So that one is, I got caught quite a few times on that one. So it's literally just a case of as soon as you jump, make sure you're spamming that X button. Um, otherwise, you'll just get caught. And It's a short one, but it can get quite annoying. So there we go. That is that one complete. Again, we've got no collectibles or anything to worry about now. And we're about sort of halfway through the game now, which is nice. So heading off to the right, we're just going to be heading up and sticking our nostrils into that white powdered next puzzle. There's no white powder. I'm just joking. Let's not make that joke. <laughs> So, here we are, here, here. we're going to grab our little CPQ friend and go for a little fly. To be fair, the girl's got no fear because looking down there, I'm already crapping my own pants. Which, uh, excuse me, let me just go get changed for a second here. <laughs> I'm not good with heights. I am a fanny with heights. Anyway, what we can do, wait until the platform is up here, then we can jump on. If you jump down too much, you'll get caught by the roundy bot on the right-hand side. And then jump over and then stick with the left hand side as much as you can because the roundy bot will be taking a little look. Uh, potentially. He's not for me this time, but he did the other time. Into the teleportation device, pick up the cube. And we've got a few things to do. So jump down on this platform. Throw it over to the other side. There we go. And then just jump up and go back into the teleportation device. Teleportation device. Teleportation device. I'm going to make a bloody song out of this. Wait, of course, until... The red light just above you there, the roundy bot stops looking, and as soon as it goes blue, that is when we can use the teleportation device. The teleportation device. There we go. As soon as it goes blue, use the teleportation device. Pick up the cube. And now we can head back again, making saves where you can. Jump up onto the platform. Just about made that. The teleportation device. Jumping up again. There we go. And then this time what we're going to do is jump down on this platform. Pop, put the cube down. And then run across to the other side. Very important there to um, put the cube down. Otherwise, it's not going to be in the location you need it to be. So, this time, again, make a save if you want. But now we're going to head into the teleportation device. Press the X button now. And what you should see, what we're going to do is very uh, sneakily just go over to the other side. Because that cube would have dropped down. That is why the roundabout is looking over there. Over to the other side. And what we need to do is just go to the right. So now make sure again that he's blue. 
and uh, not looking in the direction that we are in. Head to the other side. There is the cube that we dropped a little bit earlier on. And uh, Bob, that's that level. Bob's your nan, your fanny's your uncle, and some other douchebag's your auntie. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know how the saying goes. So, somebody's just had a heart attack and died. This Pokemon adventure is not going as well as we thought. I can't remember that in the Pokemon series. Did I catch him out a heart attack and die? Yeah. Anyway, let's go to the next puzzle. Speaking of though, if Ash Ketchum did ever have a heart attack and almost died, you've got your Pikachu to zap you into life, so uh, your heart will be going bum, 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 bum. better than an energy drink, that is. Anyway, we're flying our CPQ friend over. This one is probably the trickiest one in the game. You've got to be quite quick with these, so I will make saves wherever you can, wherever safe. So pick up the cube and go down to the third portal. Or the, uh, yeah, third portal. We'll just call it portal for now. Um, down to the third pole here, now throw the cube just to the right of this roundy bout, and then immediately start walking back towards where you were got, where you were first. Because he does look over to the left, and he can catch you. So that is what we need to do, so pick that one up. Um, into, go into the first pole, and then what we need to do is jump, and then immediately press X. So jump and press X quick, there we go. Turn around, very carefully pick up the cube next to Roundabout. Go into the device, and then what we need to do is throw the cube just over the head of the cube, and then immediately press X again. Make a save again here if you think it's safe enough, which it should be. Go into the next portal, make a jump, and then immediately press X again. And then you should now be able to pick up the cube, turn around quickly, and end the level. Apologies, Anne. Insufficient LSL in I'm sorry. We need to get you to Nurse Joy. She only deals with Pokemon, but, uh... The Pikachu crap is not waking him up. God damn it. I, I don't know why these cutscenes have turned into a Pokemon story, but, uh... <laughs> why not? Everyone loves Pokemon, right? Better than Digimon. Don't care what you say. Uh, anyway, just keep walking forward anyway. It's, it, it's a bit cold. I tell you what, my nuts have shrunk at the thought of being cold. I hate the cold. I don't have any... Yeah. So, Maya's Pokemon Adventure not going as smoothly as we'd like, but, uh, you know, things can only get better, right? Maybe if you put some trousers on, I don't know, maybe that'll be better. Anyway, grab our little cubic pubic friend right here and head over to the right-hand side. Now, there are times in this level you've got to be um, quite quick. There are no enemies, but you've got to be quick in terms of throwing cubes and everything and placing, etc, etc. So again, just keep making saves as uh, often as you can. So, pick up the cube, put it on the blue button, go into the tra teleportation device and head towards you. Go down the, the um, uh, <laughs> platform, almost forgot what it was called. Jump down, pick up the cube on the right. And then go back onto the platform and then throw it on the blue button right here. To be fair, for someone who is in, you know, uh, imagination and reality, she's pretty good at being strong and being thrown, you know, accurately. Head into the teleportation device behind you when you get off the platform. Make a save again if you'd like. 
And then just press the X button to go to the side. What we're going to do is pick up the cube and then immediately throw it down the hole. And then press the X button quick as you can and jump down this platform. Again, feel free to make a save here. It, it, I'm trying to explain the best I can, but it can get confusing uh, now and again. So, pick up the cube off the blue button and then just place it on the floor. Wait for this next platform to come down and grab this cube. Put this cube on the blue button and then pick up the other cube that we uh, dropped on the floor earlier. And just go ahead and wait for the left platform, uh, the right, sorry, platform to jump down. Put the cube on there and pick up the next cube off the blue button right there, wait for the left platform to come down, and then throw this cube on the blue button. So that one can get slightly confusing, but you know, you're awesome, you got this. So from here, go to the, um, all the way to the end and pick up another cube. And then what we can do is actually just drop this one down, that one's fine. Head over into the teleportation device, press the X button to go down it, turn around, Head over to the next teleportation device. Press the X button again to go through it. And then if you turn around, your cube should now be here. Now we can jump down to the end. And life will be grand. And then we've only got about 50 minutes to complete this. Man, really can't remember this in the Pokemon series. Oh, actually, yes, we can. Uh, what was that ice section? That really pain in the ass ice section. And those ice puzzles and yeah. Anyway, here we are then. On to next bit. Now this um, is not the puzzle at all. In fact, all we're doing is just basically walking straight. And we're going to be walking up some Ramparonis. Right, so now we're starting to get into puzzles where the world actually changes, as in it goes from left to right, and then you've got to get be in specific positions, as you'll be able to see, um, in order to not die, basically. So this is where saving uh, helps a lot. So as you can see, the world's just changed, so head round to the left, just wait for the world to change. It's not so bad the first bit, but the last level requires some specific timing. Um, head to the right, and interact with this yellow block. Now again, make some saves every time before we do these yellow blocks, because these um, you require timing in terms of you have to step on the yellow block at the right time. So when the world changes, you get the block down as well. So if it doesn't work, so it, so as you can see there, I jumped on the yellow block just as the world changed. So the block is with us. That's why I always say before any yellow blocks, make a save because if you don't get the cube, you can just reload your save again, pressing the left bumper button, and uh, go in from there. So head over to this yellow block now, or this uh, yellow button, sorry. And what's this, what that's going to do is put this pillar down, and that's fine. We're just going to chill out for a second, floating clocks and everything, starting to get into the uh, nitty gritty, nipple chitty bitty witty. What the hell am I on about? Anyway, head to the red light because we've got the pillar out. That is fine. We're not going to be uh, electrocuted in the old uh, bum snatch. Job is done. Hey, what's going on there? Oh, right, pi piggyback. <laughs> right, okay. Ash, come here, you useless. That's Professor Oak, that is. Come here, Ash, you useless bastard. Right, head into the w sort of yellow light. As soon as you see it all shaking and things, that is when you know that the world is going to change. So, immediately from here, head into the next light and just wait here. So, as you can see, it starts shaking and moving. After about two seconds or so, the world changes. So, just be aware of that one. Head over, stay here for the moment. And we're going to jump down, there we go. Delishimano. Head over to the next light. Uh, we're going to jump up first, though. You know, try and jump up tidy. Come on, Maya, we haven't got time, you dumbass. Right, make a save here, because what we're going to be doing is doing a bit of a uh, platform timing. We're going to keep on jumping on the yellow button, because if the cube hits the floor, Roundy Boss is going to turn around and kill us dead. So just keep... Jump in on this yellow button. This one's fine. Just as long as the cube doesn't hit the floor. 
Keep on jumping, keep on jumping. You must be knackered, actually, by now. Christ. And eventually the world's going to change us in now. <gasps> I guess that. I am so cute. Right. Happy days. What we can do? Make another save. Every time I get to another new part of the world, when it changes, I always make a save just in case. Go into the transportation teleportation device. Press the X button. And now, the cube, which should have landed, uh, has distracted this roundabout. So we can just go all the way to the left. Keep sticking with the left-hand side as much as you can. And then as soon as it goes blue, then you're able to pick up the cube, finish AMS level. We're getting close now. I'm sorry you're so useless, Ash. I'm sorry you only got to Pallet Town and then almost died. Oh, <laughs> you can't. Damn it. Anyway, here we go then. So, head forward. This is a level that requires quite a bit of timing. So, this is why, like I said, we're going to be saving quite regularly. So, make a save here. Because for some reason, I did die at this point. All we're doing at the minute is just waiting for the world to change. This isn't a bad level. We're just basically waiting for the world to change. We're just going to be in specific sections while we do it. Or this for this first bit, anyway. So as the world changes, you're going to start going to start flying down there. For again, somehow I managed to die from there. Don't know how. Uh, move the camera until <laughs> eventually we're going to see ourselves. Maybe move the camera down. Move the camera down, douchebag. There we go. So, we're all good. Right, what we need to do, stand on this yellow block. And again, this is one we need to be saving. Make sure to make a save here, because we need the perfect timing. So, as soon as you see this stuff start shaking, just make sure to um, stand on the yellow cube. And again, I just about <laughs> managed to grab that one. Again, if you don't see a cube in front of you, just reload your save and just try again. So, when we get a cube, stand on this yellow button, wait until the platform goes all the way to the right, and then move over. Make another save here. This is another uh, quite difficult time section. Now, I counted when the clock in front of us starts shaking. I counted to about four seconds before throwing the, the cube off the edge. So, throw the cube off the edge, press the X button, and then you should land here. Turn around and you should, should see the cube on your left. Again, um, if you don't see the cube, just reload it and just try that a bit again. But yeah... I counted to about four or five seconds after the clock starts shaking, and then threw the cube off. Um, and then pressing the X button to go through. So, took me a few tries to get the timing right on that one, but again, not too bad. And now we're basically, uh, more or less, towards the end of the game now. So, we've got a couple of cutscenes. Uh, again, Ash Ketchum's Pokemon Adventure didn't go that smooth. Again, got to Pallet Town. Pidgey messed him up, and he's basically dead now, so... Oh, a bit awkward. That's why there was originally intended only to be one episode of Pokemon, but they didn't bother. So they got rid of the Pidgey death part, and, uh, you know, he's, he's all good now. As you can see, Pokemon's very successful. So, all we're doing, just heading towards... Headed towards the door, but can you see on Maya, somehow... Not sure if this is intentional, not sure if this is a glitch in the game, but god damn, the son of a Momo has lost her bloody jaw. Ah! <laughs> she's lost her jaw. She's only got a, she's only got a teeth, her front teeth. That's creepy. <laughs> wow, you've really grown.
Again, not sure if uh, Mother here is dead or we're crying because we've somehow lost our chin, our jaw. I only got your teeth to talk through. And even then is particularly tricky. So not sure what's going on there. Again, don't know if it's glitch, but god damn that shite is horrifying. So we are just coming up to the end of the game now. There's literally all we're doing at this point is pressing the B button to get our... D d generally, that is creepy. That is Chucky-style creepy crap. Let's just go in for a... I do go in for a closer look right here. So we're going to turn the... Oh my god, we don't have an eyeball either. Is this supposed to be the baby from Toy Story? No eye, no jaw? Okay. That's creepy. Uh, looks like Sylvester Stallone then from uh, Rocky trying to call... Adrian! CPQ! I need you! Anyway, what we're doing is actually just... Heading towards the white light. As a, that genuinely is horrifying. Again, not sure if glitch, not sure if intentional. Still creepy nonetheless. Hilariously creepy. So we can just head towards the white light. Now if you get off where I do, the final cutting of the game basically begins. If you um, get off the other side of where I do, just turn around and basically there's going to be a roundy bot uh, that we just need to interact with. So it's nothing that we're doing here. So I jump down here. Final cutscene begins. If you go past this roundy bot, just turn around. And there we go. So, the, um, <laughs> the big baby from Toy Story finally gets its happy ending, I suppose. Although, I prefer the jaw and the ability to talk, personally, and the ability to see out of both eyes, instead of having one black hole for the other eye. But there we go. That's, that's just a preferable opinion, uh, preferable preference of mine. <laughs> Good morning, Doctor. So we are coming up to the credits. Remember, make sure not to skip the credits. Do not skip the credits here, because there will be another cutscene at the end of the game. Um, it takes about two or three minutes. Uh, but do not skip the cutscenes. I actually leave the cutscenes fully in right here. We also get the achievement for um, basically grabbing all the collectibles earlier on, the, the couple of leaves. Um, but again, do not skip the cutscenes because there will be a, um, a secret cutscene at the end of this. So just put your controller down and think about what the hell we just went through right there. And that'll basically be the end of the game. So I'm going to leave it off here then, uh, anyway, guys and gals. So, again, do not skip the cutscene. That'll get you your final achievement. But thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed the game. Hope the guide helped as well. Of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well if you did find it uh, helpful and useful and hilarious. <laughs> Uh, don't forget again to check out my socials as well, as usual, uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. And again, still a big, huge, massive shout out to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon. The support that you guys and gals show me is just, it just humbles me to absolute death and back. And for everyone who uh, continues to interact with me on the daily anyway, fantastic support. I love you guys. But that'll be that for this one then, guys. So, um, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye!